it's Heather Danielle, your favorite psychic medium, and I am back today to do our weekly card reading, okay? And if you guys know me, which most of you guys do, right? I absolutely love Magical Unicorns deck. So we are definitely going to use these today. I absolutely love these cards because, number one, they're really positive. They're uplifting, but they get the point across um, pretty, like, straightforward, okay? And I cannot wait to see what this week is going to have in store, okay? So we want to try and do a Sunday and Monday card. Now, no, these are different cards that are going to be posted daily on my Facebook page, okay? I post those daily, different cards. Um, did I do different cards? Pretty sure I did. No, I don't remember. But anyways, you might want to go take a look to see if they're different cards or if they're the same cards. Okay, so we want to definitely try and do a Sunday and Monday card, see if Spirit will allow us to do that. Sunday and Monday, okay. Again, a lot of stuff going on too. A lot of messages happening for everyone. Um, definitely paying attention to like the birds and, you know, trying to get outside of nature is going to be really big. And it's funny because there's something like flying at my window right now. I just think it was a piece of fuzz. But definitely, oh, it's probably, I wonder if it was a feather. Now I really want to know. So anyways, definitely pay attention to nature and things outside, like I was just saying. That's why I absolutely love doing these these videos live, because you know I'm not making this stuff up. All right, so let's see what the first card is, hopefully for Sunday and Monday, but definitely keep it going for the rest of the week, okay? It's actually very soon. So the card very soon came up. And so, um, can you see it? It says... What you're asking for will happen soon in a very happy way. So that's really good. So if you're waiting on some news, if you're just wondering, you know, what's happening, if you feel like you're at a standstill, okay, this is your confirmation, okay, that it's going to happen very soon. You just have to be a little bit patient, okay. I know a lot of times we want to make things happen faster and sooner, okay. So Sunday and Monday, early on in the week, you know, I'm kind of like a weather girl, you know. You know, the rain might come on Sunday or might come on Wednesday, you know. That's how they go. So just know that. You might either find some news, but you just don't have the full information yet, or you know, what I mean, you don't know the verdict of it yet. There's still a little bit more that you need. Um, that you need. So just let you know, spirit has their hand in this, and they are like, let's go. You know, like it's okay. You know, let it go. That's what I meant to say. Ooh, this card also came up too, but I feel like it's more for the week thing and not just um, Sunday and Monday kind of thing. And it's, you are gifted. You're very intelligent and talented. And what I love about this card too is that it's literally hitting right to the core. You know, it's seriously letting you know that you are worth a damn. I don't know why I'm saying those words, but those came up, right? You are worth a damn and you you really got to stop dishing, ditching, dissing, dissing yourself, okay? It's like so many times we even make fun of ourselves and we're like, the number one person that makes fun of ourselves. Don't do that. Stop trashing yourself. This is another thing this card is saying, okay? Don't make me come there and, mm, all right? You are very um, intelligent and, and talented. So this is also if you get any kind of rejection, okay, with jobs and opportunities that are coming up that don't seem like they're really going anywhere or that you're being picked, if you will. So just know that you are gifted. You are intelligent. You are awesome and amazing, okay? It's just that these opportunities that are coming up are not for you. I love to live the way of the Tao, and the Tao is the way, all right? So if you're swimming upstream and things are happening, then, you know, um, if you're swimming up things and things are not happening or there's a lot of conflict, it means you got to go a different way, all right? So if you don't know Abraham Hicks, you got to look her up right now. Um, him, right? She channels, yeah. Um, Abram Hicks, and that is so insightful too. All right. Wow. Already so much, and we're not even to like the um like the middle of the week yet. Okay, so that's Sunday, Monday. Let's do for Tuesday and Wednesday. Come on, guys. Okay, let's see. Love. The answer that you're seeking is love, okay? And honestly, this is what I'm actually getting from this, though, is that shame and guilt are really playing a big part. And also regret in your life, okay? So let go of that shame. Let go of that guilt, you know, that feeling of unworthiness. And I know it's easier said than done, but honestly, take it one day at a time, okay? And honestly, love yourself first. And I know many of you out there have families and husbands and kids and stuff like that, but it is absolutely true that you have to first love yourself 
before you could be, you know, the best mom and the best wife that you can be. I know that it probably doesn't make any sense, but honestly, it does because when you take care of you, you know, go ahead and, you know, I don't know why it's popping in my head, but go ahead and take that yoga class, all right? Go ahead and, you know, go to the movies by yourself, you know? Um, do whatever that you need to do to be able to really connect with yourself. That's actually been my goal. That's what I've been thinking about all day lately. So I'm definitely going to take this one too, all right? Like definitely just doing things that I love and I want to do and not things to do with like your, um, uh, your hopes and your dreams and growing like your business or getting a better job. Okay. Don't be like, well, I'm focusing on me right now because I'm working on my resume. No, that's not how I mean something to play around with something to really take care of you. Like I really love walking outside, especially on this Island that's right there by my house, but I probably can count on you know, two hands or so and toes, how many times I've been there in the last five years. So gosh darn it, I am going to make it a, a thing that I'm going to go on that island a couple times this week, right? Ooh, and by the way, I forgot. If you watched last week's video, I have got to draw a card out of that deck to see if it's the same card. What was it, environmental or going outside? Hey, I went outside two times. So if it comes up, it ain't me. Yeah, you guys got to write it in the comments too. You guys have got to write it in the comments what's going on. Um, if you guys went outside and what you guys thought of the video. Remember, we talked about feathers too. So I definitely want to know your feather story. A couple people messaged me um, and I absolutely love uh, hearing them. But put in the comments and then um, everyone can read them. It'd be awesome. All right. Happy thoughts. So this is going towards the end of next week, okay? Just definitely keep up the happy thoughts. It says to feel happier right now, think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. I just feel like a lot of people are go getting into a funk lately. And I really want to blame that new moon that happened because, I don't know, it was like crazy, crazy energy more so than usual. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, and then also just keep in mind too that this too shall pass. You know, I know that it's a saying that people say all the time, but it is true, okay? There's always another moment. But one thing that will help you get from one crappy moment to a better moment is honestly your thoughts because I swear I wish I would have known this earlier and started practicing earlier your thoughts do become your reality all right hands down 100% so whatever you're focusing on is 100% what the universe is bringing back to you so if you keep on saying well I don't have any money then the, the universe is like okay she never has any money guys go you know and you're stuck having not no more money right so definitely keep those thoughts on the things that you love and I mean like how many times you're like, well, this always happens to me. And then it always happens to you. It's because you're saying that. Why the heck use it for the bad? Use it for the good, you know? Be like, you know what happens to me? I always win the lottery. I always win scratch off tickets. I'm always finding money on the ground. Or, you know what I mean? I'm always getting time off work for free, you know, when I'm not sick, you know? So you got to be careful too, you know, that all of your thoughts are meshing well. And you can't just say it a couple times and then for it to be like, oh, it didn't work. No, it's like, it's a lifestyle change, okay? So happy thoughts is where we're looking, all right? And now, you know, I'll do one more for the weekend because I feel like I'm nudged too. And then we're going to go into that other deck, and I am excited about it. All right, it's a good one. It's a good one. No mysterious things happen today except for that thing flying at my window in the beginning. Relax. Everything's okay. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine, all right? So if you're worried about your man or you worry about your girlfriend, right? If you're worried about your family or the job situation, just know that it's going to be okay. And I'll tell you what. I know this seems really fluffy, dovey, you know, like everything's good, everything's fine, right? But the thing is, is that right now they're saying not to take action right now, okay? Except for with self-care and except with, you know what I mean, taking care of yourself and doing something that you love. Other than that, there's no action to take right now. There's really nothing that you can do to help the situation and worrying is not helping. Now, sometimes you're being guided to take action. You're, you're being guided to move forward. Let's do it, you know? This week, you're guided not to take any action, okay? Just honestly allow you know everything to run its course let's see what comes up next week all right because right now kuna matata is what spirit is saying all right and so i don't think i have the cards up here that we used last week uh oh okay well i'm gonna use i'm just gonna pull a card from here well you know what? i'm still gonna read it to you guys just in case goodbye to the old hello to the new 
you finished part of your life and now an even part is beginning, all right? So this also has to do with people that are saying goodbye to someone, whether they're like ending a relationship or maybe someone has passed or a pet has passed, okay? So just know that good things are in store and you're on a totally new path. It's almost like when you watch the movies and then you're watching a movie and the character in it, you know, something happens and you're devastated like Bambi. Come on, that was messed up, you know? Like, so now Bambi's, you know, without a mom. That's really bogue, right? But guess what? All works out. It's like, all work out with you, right? I think there's a better part of me bringing it up. Oh, yeah. Now Bambi got a whole nother, you know, a whole nother story added on after his mom passed, you know? And it was something else that was cool and exciting. I'm really not explaining this very well. It's like, it's like you're the character of your own story and then you're branching out to a new, another, um, like a cooler badass story, you know, where you meet Vin Diesel and you guys can go for races. All right. So now this is not the card deck that I wanted to, uh, to verify with. So I will be posting that on my Facebook. Um, maybe I can use those, um, for the daily cards for, um, next week to see if that environmental card come up. But if this is an environmental card, someone's in trouble. I'm going to have to like go through the couple of views, the couple of people that are watching this and see, okay? All right. Interesting card. It's not the environmental card. So I'm curious to know if you guys were outside. Put in the comments if you did go outside this last week. Admit your true feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what it, what it is that you truly desire, okay? Man, 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 that old, that say goodbye, say bye to the old, hello to the new. It's really also about you, you know, being honest with yourself too and where you want to go. And it's also talking about bad mental habits that you have to leave behind. All right. I know you just said and done too, but the, if you actually think about your true feelings and what you want to do and where you want to go and where you want to be, um, if you want to be somebody, if you want to go somewhere, then you better wake up and pay attention. I think that's from like Dangerous Minds with Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh my gosh. So, um, so definitely like pay attention to this. It's literally flying out of my hand, okay? So admit your true feelings to yourself. Write yourself a note. I feel like I'm like very like a, like a nun or something um, on these card videos. But anyways... Monica, I don't have anything else to say. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big like, give it a share so that like another couple people could watch it. I don't care how many people watch. If you're watching this, that means that you're meant to be watching it. If it's only one or two people, then guess what? Then you guys know for sure that these messages are going towards you because you're the only couple people watching it, right? That is fine with me. I've just got to read these cards for spirit and I will see you next week and check out the Facebook so that you can see the daily cards and check out my Instagram because I'm posting more cool things on there. I'm getting used to it. Getting used to it. I'm not used to Instagram. I'm like an old geezer so I don't even know. So I'm getting used to it. All right. Love you guys. See you next week.